hi guys. Um, today I'm going to teach you guys on how to punch the speed bag. Okay. Uh, before we start, you, have to make, you guys have to make sure that you guys are well warmed up, full stretch, so you guys don't sprain or tear or pull any muscle on your upper body. And make sure that you guys have uh, protective gloves on to make sure that it doesn't hurt your knuckles and your wrist. Or you guys can get speed um, speed wraps or gel wraps. Um, you, guys, you guys can buy this for fifteen to twenty dollars. Um, before anything, if you guys are a righty, make sure that your stance, your foot stance is a left over right. If you guys are a lefty, you get, your stance has to be a right over left. Okay? And the other thing is that you guys have to make sure that your hands are over here when you punch or kind of relax them here by your shoulder. Alright? And when you punch it, make sure that the bag is in front of your face. Make sure that it's right in front of your face and if you see the ring by the bag, you guys have actually have to stand by the edge of the ring, by the edge of the ring over here. So you guys have more power to punch the bag and more resistance, okay? And more feedback and more response, response from the bag. And the thing is, you guys have to make sure that you keep the same tempo, the same rhythm, all right? When you hit the bag. And make sure that you guys hit the bag with the edge of your palm right here which is right here because if you guys tend to some people tend to use the um the knuckles sometimes it's comfortable with them but i recommend it that you hit it where you're where there's a soft spot over here so it doesn't hurt your bone all right so you guys don't get injured okay so let me teach you guys the um uh, uh some counts so we'll start with the ones all right so with the ones it goes like this you know, first of all, you know, before anything, just you know, play around with the speed bag. You know, see how it feels. See if the um, swivel is fast. See if it's slow. Because there's three kinds of swivels. There's the, um, the standard, the intermediate, and then there's a fast, the fast swivels, which is the pros. So what the one that I have is the intermediate. And the ones goes like this, so you just basically punch one left, one right. But then you guys have to wait for the ball to get back as, as practice. So this is how you practice first with the one. Hit it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. So the response of it, if I can do it in slow motion, is that when you hit the ball, it's going to go one, two, three, and then before it hits four, that's when you guys deliver the second punch, okay? So it goes like this, one, it goes one, two, one, two, three, four, all right? Let me do that one more time, one, two, three, four, okay? Let me do it one more time, one, two, three, four. All right, so once you guys get that, just, you know, start off as practicing with it. Just one, 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 one. And once you guys get the feel of the bag, the rhythm of the bag, you know, just add some speed to it. And get some focus, make sure that you guys breathe well. Here's the thing. Um, here's the thing, though. And what happens is that when the ball goes side to side, just like when I hit it before, it goes like this. You know, that means that I lost the focus on hitting it at the center. Okay. So it doesn't mean that you guys messed up like big time. So just get back at it. And once the bag is actually swinging down like that, you know, just take that time. Take that time to actually dance around with the bag. You know, you guys can put your arms over here by your shoulder and just kind of like, you know, go side to side. Or you guys can put your hands over here and go side to side just like you're in a boxing ring. And this is actually good because you're actually keeping a fist and at the same time you're flexing your upper body muscles which is your shoulders, which is good for your um, shoulders and your tricep and your bicep and your forearm. 
And then if you go side to side like this, it's actually good for your side obliques because you guys are actually going to get toned down on your obliques over here. So you guys are going to get those V cuts, right? All right, so let's go back to the ones. See that? See how it's going side to side? I'm, lo I'm losing focus on hitting it straight. All right, so when it comes to that, just like dance around with it. All right, and let's hit it again. Again, you know, if you mess up, just dance around with it. Still getting the workout. Again, um, what happened right there is that when you hit it too fast, is that you're going to end up hitting it in the bottom because you actually lost the rhythm and you want to go ahead and you want you tend to go faster than the ball, okay? So when it comes to that, you know, when you guys hit, hit it on the, on the bottom, you know, again, just, you know, dance, dance around with it, wait for the ball to come in again, you know, be in the center, and then just get back at it, okay? Again, there you go, side to side. Alright, so those the, those are the flaws when it comes to the speed bag. So when you guys get those kind of flaws, don't stop, just keep going. Again, you can just dance around with it, still get a workout in your body. At the same time, use those kind of flaws to make you better in a workout like this, okay? Doesn't mean that you have flaws, that you're bad at it, you know, you actually have to get some flaws. You actually have to make some mistakes to be able to get something out of it and to be better at something that you do, just like a workout like this, okay? you guys the one two count okay one two is basically the same concept of once he's gonna have another punch on it you know instead of just punching one in the right I mean on one on the left you guys are gonna punch twice so one two all right so instead of just doing one you're just gonna have to add another one so it's it's uh, the, the twos routine all right one two one two one two one two all right so just practice around with it first. And just fix my swivel. Alright, so one twos. Two, one, 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 two. Alright, if you guys um notice. When I'm hitting it, I'm actually going side to side with it. You know, at the same time that I'm hitting the bag, I'm actually working on my side of leaks, which is my abs. You know, so when you guys are hitting it, you guys can go here, 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 here to actually help you get that rhythm with the bag. Okay? So here's going to look like when you guys do it, and um, when you guys get better at it and get the speed and the rhythm of it, right? Just start up slow, and then as you guys are comfortable with it, as you guys get comfortable with it, just get some speed, add some speed to it later on.
Those are the two routines, the ones, and the one twos. And if you guys get comfortable with it, just mix it up. Just go one, two, one, 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 two, one, one. Okay? Have fun with it, and I hope that you guys uh, got some something out of this video workout that I just made on tips on how to uh, punch this feedback. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, thank you.